Welcome back to Fishing Planet. In this video, I want to give you some tips on how to begin bass fishing. There is a lot more realism in this game than I ever anticipated. And I did say I'd come back when I was level four to unlock a new lake. It was actually the Mudwater River in Missouri, but I skipped that and we're back at level six because that is, I'm going to say that's the optimal level for beginning a bass sort of adventure. You can start bass fishing earlier than this, but I just wouldn't recommend it. One of the main features actually requires the premium currency. And also one thing I noticed if we go along, we actually unlocked this place over in Czech Republic at level three. So there's not just the lakes over on the left hand side over in America. So starting off, this is on Xbox. So using the D-pad, if we go down, you can see the weather forecasts and it gives you a little description as to when the best times are to fish. You can actually see the fish species, it tells you their preferred baits and lures, tells you their maximum sort of weights. So if you look at the channel catfish, the top end sizes can be around 57 pound, but on average they're about 10 to 20. And there's only young catfish in this lake. But it says that they're omnivores, they can be captured on a wide variety of baits, including worms, grasshopper, shrimp, cricket, frogs, bread, peas, and cheese, among others. You can see that you can also use crayfish and craws if you want to use some lures instead of baits. And also cut bait works well. One of the most important things is you make sure you have a license. We'll go through that in a minute. If I show you the bass that you can catch, because you can actually get bass in the level two lake, the spotted bass, that's what we're going for in this video. The bass, you do get largemouth in the level 4 lake. I think there's a few different types of bass you can catch. These can weigh up to 10.2 pound, but the average catch is between 0.8 to 3.3 pound. Their preferred baits are small minnows, shiners and natural eggs. Their preferred lures are casting spoons and you can see the rest there. We're going to be using a casting spoon because the baits, unless you're using shiners which are bought with premium currency, the natural eggs and the small minnows don't unlock until a later level. You can also see that the species prefers both cool and warm mountain streams, rivers and reservoirs with rocky bottoms. So you have to take all of this into consideration. And the reason I say you should get a license is because if we go into the licenses, you start with the basic one that's free, it's unlimited but you have to release any spotted bass that you catch. If you don't release them, you risk a 100 credit fine, and it's definitely not worth having to pay a fine. The advanced Texas license has no restrictions to it, you're even allowed night fishing, and if we take a look, it's only 200 bucks for an entire day, but when it says a day, it's not just a day in game, it's a real life day. If you look over on the right hand side where it says the license, it explains it, a one day license, if I was to buy this right now, yes it's 2.15am when I'm recording this, mine would expire on the 15th of July at 2.15 in the morning. So the licenses are real time and they range in length between a day and unlimited if you're using the premium currency. So we've spoken a little bit about the fish, now we're going to get into the equipment, the tackle that you would need and one other thing that I would do as well is make sure you go to the tools and equipment, you get yourself a better keep net. I've got the fish hut medium, which allows me to take a single fish weighing up to a maximum of six and a half pound, total fish weight 15 pound. So with the average typical spotted bass, we can probably carry about 10. And I've caught a few just to make sure my tackle's working properly. I would say they're worth 85 bucks each, roughly. So that's going to be 850 bucks per net, and that means your time's in your money for the license by four. So it's definitely worth picking up a license, because otherwise you're risking fines, or you just got to release. If you're going for a bit of XP, I think they get about 11 XP per catch, so you can level up quite quick. So we don't need anything from services, we don't need licenses, we're going to buy the one from the map screen. We don't need a boat, we don't need chum, we don't need bait. We're using a lure for this one, and we're going to go into the spoons and if we scroll along the pages you can see it right there the casting spoon quarter ounce i've gone for the silver one just because it's got a more natural look to it i don't know if the realism stretches that far but that is going to be our law terminal tackle you don't need that you don't use hooks and everything that comes on the actual law then you can get i've bought the waistcoat if we quickly have a look at that I've got the old denim waistcoat because it allows you to carry an extra line and five tackles. 
and obviously the more you progress the more you can carry like that one allows you to carry 35 different tackles. I eventually want to get to the point where I'm carp fishing and stuff and I've got rod stand set out and the line I think I've still got the mono but I bought the I believe I got this one because I didn't want to spend the premium currency so I've got 150 yards and that is good enough to catch the spotted bass and then the reel there's only one available at this level and that is the Felix, if that's how you pronounce it, 500 by Magfin. 7.6 over 1 ratio, 19.5 inch recovery, it takes mono or braid. It's got just over a 6 pound drag, so that's just a standard reel. And same with the rod, there's only one casting rod and that's the value cast, it's 5 foot 3. It takes lures that weigh over quarter ounce, medium light power, 4 to 9 pound line weight. And it's just a basic casting rod. The only problem I see with this setup so far, that like is very basic, it's the beginner one. But the only problem I see with it so far is the fact that you can only cut 98 feet of line and spool that onto your reel. So you're not going to be casting very far with it, but it will get the job done. And if you want to do this at level 5, you can go into the baits. And if we take a look at fresh baits, you've got the shiners there, you get 10 of them for seven of the bait coin, which is the premium currency. Then you're gonna to have to reach level seven to get the small minnows. You can at level five get some small cut bait, which can be good for catfish. But that's our setup, it's very basic. And the good thing, one of the things I like about this game is you actually have templates. So I've got this set out, I've called it casting spoon. And then we have carp and basic. I've just unlocked the bread with honey. I'm gonna be trying some carp fishing at the lake this over in czech republic so if we now head over and we buy ourselves the advanced texas license we're going to just buy it for a day because it costs 200 bucks and i don't know how often i'm going to be fishing here i do want to try other locations and stuff i've been watching a few videos of this game myself and something a lot of people say is don't just rush and go to the highest level lake you can the travel is expensive and once you leave that lake, you have to pay the travel fees again. Not only that, there is some very good fish that are worth money that can be caught at the cheap lakes. The level 3 one over in Czech Republic, I think is 120 bucks to travel. But then the level 4 that's in Missouri costs like 2000 or 1000 or something. So just be mindful because money is it's not exactly hard to get hold of. It's just time consuming, so you don't want to force yourself to lose all your money, and then you're forced back to this lake to spend time going for the beginner fish. So over on the left, the west side of this lake, you have this little bridge bit, and we're literally casting over in between the tip of my rod, if you look at the lily pads, right in between them, that's where we're going to cast. And for the bass, you can literally just, I'm going to stand over this side a little bit more, for the bass, you can literally just reel in with a straight, slow style, and you can get some decent bites. So if we make our first cast, I want to go about here, and you get a power bar. Perfect, there we go. And literally just hold your right trigger, start reeling in, and at some point, depending if the fish are awake, you'll see... Just underneath the spoon at the top right, you can see straight slow. You're not guaranteed to get a bite every single cast. Fishing depends on time of day, conditions. There's a lot of different factors that come into it. And I don't think this cast is going to be successful. I might actually go left a little bit. Oh, actually, no, I see some splashes over here. Oh, fish on. There we go. And is it a spotted bass? It should be. No, it's not. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. That's the first time I've ever caught a pickerel. Like, on this game. I've, I've caught them on other games. But, I mean, that's the first one we've caught. And one of the things I like about lures over bait is bait, you have a set number. Like, you can go and you can buy 50 worms or whatever. But with the lures, as long as you don't snap your line, and as long as the hooks and stuff don't bend, you can just cast them out as many times as you want and that's a fish on. 
I'm hoping this one might be a bass. Putting up a little bit more of a fight. Although it seems to be swimming right towards us. It's another pickerel. 52 bucks. 18 XP. Okay, we've got another fish on. I was trying a bit of stop and go. This might, I think there's another pickerel. No, it's our first spotted bass. Every single catch we've had, I've got wrong. But it's 1.3 pound, it's worth 101 bucks. So all together with the three fish we've caught so far, we've almost made our license money back. And I still have that license for like 23 and a half hours real time. So I can come back here and do bass fishing whenever over the course of the next day and just carry on making money. And it's good money as well. And you can see on the right hand side, the durability of our tackle, like our equipment and stuff isn't going down too quick. He's not too bad. I think I've had a 1.7 pound. And we're gonna keep you because I'm allowed to. I wanna try a bit more of the stop and go. You literally just reel in for a minute. You stop, you let it drop a little bit, then start reeling in. I wanna try and get it a little bit closer to the surface. I shouldn't be letting it drop that much. You have to think like the fish when you're fishing. You need to try and imitate a predator's food, the sort of movement it would do. And it definitely wouldn't be doing what my lure's doing right now. Finally, I have a fish. I've cast about 10 times. And just, I haven't had anything. We get ourselves another pickerel. It's a new personal record, apparently. 0 0.873 pound. Nearly 16 and a half inches. 21 XP, I noticed, for that as well. It's just this left spot. It's perfect. It's the only spot I seem to be getting bites from. I'm hoping this is a bass. I'm pretty sure that's a bass. I just saw the jump. There we go, that's actually a new PB. 148 bucks for a 1.9 pound spotted bass at nearly 15 inches in size. 20 XP we got for it as well. So I'm gonna keep that. I've been fishing real time like half an hour. We've got 5.3 pounds worth of fish in the net. So what I'm gonna do is back out of the lake because when you're playing this game to sell your fish that are in your net, leave the lake, like, uh, I'm really hoping you don't do this if you've paid to travel. If you're at the beginning lake where it doesn't cost anything to go there, then just leave and go back in and it will sell everything in your net. Otherwise, I recommend if you paid for travel, use as much time as you have at that lake, even if you're just catch and release to build up your XP, because otherwise it wastes a lot of money. Unless you're like really far into the game, then you'll probably have enough money to just do whatever you want. We got 393 bucks, so we've doubled the money we used to buy the license in order to keep the bass, and we've literally used half an hour of our license time. The later you get into the game, the more expensive the licenses are gonna cost, but the more money you're gonna make. And if we quickly take a look at the weather forecast, you'll see next to the description like it says the most productive fishing times around early morning and late evening when the sun is quite low if you fancy going for catfish late evening is the best time for fishing in this weather keep in mind that twilight is considered the best time for going after a range of species such as crappie channel catfish walleye and many others so you'll see there night two in between 9 and about 11 pm that's probably the best time to go for channel catfish for those of you wondering each minute of in-game time is 15 seconds real lifetime. To fast forward time in this game, I think you need to be standing there, like walking around the lake or the river and press X or square if you're on console. I believe it's T if you're on PC. But doing that will pop up and I believe it has like a 55 minute cooldown or something like that. So you can't just keep skipping night after night after night. But that's another reason to get the license because the license actually allows you to go night fishing, so therefore you can target catfish. Although if you're going for catfish, I'd probably wait until a higher level, unless you want to just get to grips with catfish fishing, 
because there's only young channel catfish, which will be very, very small, not worth a lot of money. Whereas eventually you can start going for big like trophy catfish. I think they're the Wells catfish. They got up to like 107 pound, like it's ridiculous size catfish. And please just remember, I'm not a professional fisherman. I don't know everything there is to know. There's still a couple of things to do with lures and everything that confuse me. I just know like the basic stuff. But the main tips that I would like you to take from this, or at least understand to give you a, a better understanding of bass fishing. Bass like hiding, so look around lily pads, bushy sort of weedy sort of areas. Different times of day and stuff, you can use the weather forecast to check when it's best to go fishing. Although bass have different things, they come up like when the sun's up and things like that. So there's a lot of different things to take into consideration. Make sure that you're buying the license so you can keep them and make some money from them as well. Otherwise you risk paying fines and you'll just end up losing all your money. Different bass and bigger bass than the spotted are going to require different techniques. If there's any fish you want me to cover, like do some tips and stuff for, let me know in the comments. I'll do some research and hopefully have some personal experience so that I can help you guys out. But remember, I've done this at level 6 because you can do it from level 5. Although level 5 is using premium currency to buy the shiners, which are there. And it's all the basic stuff that you need. And as I said, I'm not a professional, so if you guys have better ways of doing things, I don't think there is much better this early on in the game. But if there is, let me know in the comments. Also, if you've played this game and you've done some bass fishing, what is your PB of any species of bass? Let me know all that good stuff in the comments. That's going to be the end of the video. I hope it helped you guys out. Thank you for watching.